Good evening. For the DPP Grain Desk, this is Dwayne Lowry on uh, Sunday, February 3rd. It's currently uh, 3.45 in the afternoon. Um, it's not much here for news or new uh, developments over the weekend. Uh, we start out looking at uh, weather, um, U.S. weather. We're seeing a little bit wetter forecast for the central plains, parts of the southern plains, uh, parts of the uh, northwestern Midwest, as well as much of the uh, eastern Midwest. Uh, but the increase in moisture is going to be focused on uh, central and parts of the southern plain and the northwestern Midwest. To that extent, uh, weather in those regions will get a little bit of a bearish spin. Um, as far as South America is concerned, weekend moisture was pretty much in line with expectations, maybe a little disappointing rains in Argentina from some of the more optimistic forecasts that we had for the weekend uh, on Friday. Um, there is uh, maybe an improved moisture outlook for Argentina during the 6 to 10 day period. Uh, Brazil, I consider, continue to say, is largely uh, favorable, acceptable. And I think when you look at overall total South American production, I don't think anybody's lowering their production figures enough that uh, it has a significant impact on uh, the markets, at least from my perspective. Um, a lot of uh, attempt in the trade in the last uh, couple of weeks to, to make day to day or daily forecast, intraday expectations uh, tied to the South American forecast. I think the connection uh, and the clarity of that connection to uh, market action has been uh, poor at best, despite attempts. Uh, we've had several days. We've had quite a bit of emotion expecting markets to perform well on, on South American weather uh, rhetoric, and I just don't think that's really materialized. Friday was a classic example. We came in at a firmer overnight tone. Um, people were excited about South American weather concerns on Friday. Markets opened higher, traded higher, and basically collapsed. You had the uh, wheat market close well off its highs, uh, probably broke 20 some cents off its highs. Corn market uh, finished probably a dime off of its highs. And uh, the, the uh, beans finished low range, although they did manage to close higher. Uh, all these markets have short term technical conditions that offer warnings to the bulls, offers warnings to recent buyers that were not developing the right type of upward momentum. We're stalling out. We're underperforming expectations. And uh, this is not the kind of thing that I think the recent buyers need. Uh, I think the best example of that so far is uh, the wheat market. The wheat market's uh, got very poor U.S. crop conditions going into dormancy. We all know that. Uh, we know that it's been <clears throat> largely dry in the plains and, and uh, certainly a problem. But yet the market is having a difficult time performing. Uh, Friday. Uh, during the early part of the morning, the market was looking strong. People were excited. Emotions were running high. By the end of the day, the market had finished 20 cents off those highs. And the Friday settlement is the lowest uh, closing price on uh, nearby March Chicago wheat that we've had since January 11th. That's a pretty significant statement, and that leaves a lot of uh, bulls, a lot of buyers that are trapped with losing positions. And the technical conditions have been warning for a few days that there, there was going to be a lack of upside momentum here. And I think Friday's price action threatens to unleash, you know, some uh, notable liquidation pressures. If you look at wheat from a long-term support levels, you know, where, where are those support levels at? They're probably at least 20, maybe closer to 30 cents away from Friday's settlement. Do I think that we can get that type of break? You know, it's kind of hard to uh, uh, anticipate that. But, yeah, I believe that is, that's the risk, that the market hits a reset button. We go back to the January lows, and then we build on it again and try to find you know, a re reaction and a concern about overall crop conditions. Uh, but for right now, the market at different times over the last, you know, um, three weeks probably has seemed anxious to find a weather forecast they could get their teeth into about increased moisture in the plains. This um, six to ten day window that we've got coming up now looks like a fairly uh, good system for parts of the central plains and the dry areas in Nebraska. And I think that there's confidence building in that. And on the heels of coming in on the heels of Friday's price action, that might just be the right type of storyline to get some weakness here. you got other people that are going to talk about South American weather and try to say that it's you know bullish. Um, I understand the bullish arguments. I just think on the big picture, the overall production at, at risk, I don't think it's big enough of an issue. And I think that Friday's price action um, is a classic example. We came in with a lot of attitudes about being bullish in South America weather and the markets did not perform well. Um, I think, uh, you know, if you look at um, some of these markets over the last four days, three of the days we performed poorly below expectations and we failed to hold early gains. So I think that, you know, there are 
problems here with the uh, market, whether that's market, whether that's short-term technicals or whether that's uh, fundamental reality. You know, I don't know. You, you can uh, argue that all day, I guess. The, I think there are there's a strong fundamental base of support for old crop corn. I think there's a legitimate fundamental base of support for old crop beans. Uh, but the question is, you know, isn't that would still be true if we experienced some sort of a technical sell-off here? With longer-term support in beans is probably 50 cents below where we finished on Friday. So if the market begins to suffer some liquidation pressures and technical selling, that's how much downside risk you got. I don't think it's unreasonable to believe that you could have that kind of risk, and I don't think it's unreasonable to believe you could have that, that much of a market uh, weakness in a relatively short period of time and still come back and have a logistic-based um, South American supply concern and a and, uh, demand towards U.S. shores for beans and then run the beans back up again and go, you know, 50 cents higher than where they are right now. I think that's very possible. But to uh, rule out some sort of a short-term technical break would be naive. It's very possible. And I think, you know, uh, a very, I think it's becoming more probable, to be honest with you. Uh, the corn market, um, from a technical perspective, uh, we're 20 cents above key support levels. And uh, that's the January lows. And that wouldn't be difficult for those uh, levels to go out. Um, I don't think the market would build any legitimate, uh, sustainable downside momentum there. But there's been a lot of people bought corn for all the right reasons here in the last couple of weeks. And the price action, um, I don't think it's performing well enough. And if Friday's weak performance begins to get uh, follow through uh, momentum here this week, I think you're looking at some tech selling pressures coming at it. So about the only thing bullish you got tonight near as I can tell is some traders uh, spin on South American weather. And like I say, the market has tried to attempt that uh, before. And it's not necessarily been that successful. And all you got to do is look back to Friday's per per performance for the latest example of that. So I wouldn't rule out the chance that we can trade higher tonight on South American weather uh, talk. I wouldn't rule out the chance that some people will say Friday's weakness was overdone. So I, don't, I certainly can see some attempt at strength here tonight. But I think that you got technical selling pressures. Uh, that probably are building above the market, probably limits any type of early strength tonight if you get it. And I think the risk is that you begin to build momentum from people getting disappointed with weak price action, especially if we start to build some momentum below Friday's lows. So short-term markets have some downside risk here. Even if we get that type of a break that I've just talked about, we still got potential to have a good old crop-led rally uh, coming over the next several weeks. Uh, especially corn, it's a very solid fundamental footing. We're going to have to see some higher prices. It's all about timings and, and whether or not there's some liquidation pressures to be uh, experienced first. For the DPP Grain Desk, this has been Dwayne Lowry. Thank you.